Politics. Joining us on the program tonight uh, is uh, uh, Aam Aadmi Party member of parliament in Gujarat in charge, Raghav Chadha. Uh, Raghav Chadha, thanks very much for joining us. How was the day? Well, the day was very well for us. Uh, it has been, uh, we have A, we've, we've had a lot of excitement and huge numbers flocking to our polling station and booths and tables that we had set outside uh, the polling centers. Number two, the uh, AAP actually put up more polling tables and booths than the BJP. And number three, our assessment, uh, Nidhi, is that the traditional BJP voter who usually steps out in huge numbers to vote for the BJP, this time due to a disenchantment and absence of hope in BJP's campaign, did not turn out in huge numbers. The maximum vote, the maximum people who stepped out to vote were essentially a vote for change, a vote for Parivartan. And one thing that I, as, as somebody who's been campaigning for the party in the state, have noticed, and all my party colleagues, including our leader, Mr. Kejriwal, have noticed across, not just in Saurashtra and South Gujarat, which are considered to be strongholds of AAP, but even in North and Central Gujarat, is a palpable desire, a sense for parivartan and change. Sure. <coughs> but, Raghav, that People change... People are yearning for change. That change, as far as <coughs> the Ahmadmi Party is concerned, would mean the Congress doing disastrously. And the projection, of course, is that you do much better than them. That being the what, case, what, are you counting on taking away a large chunk of the base of the Congress in the state? Two things. In, my, in our assessment, for every 10 voters that are voting for the Aam Army Party, six are old-time BJP voters, roughly three are previous Congress voters, and one is an undecided voter or a fence-hitter. Okay. This is largely the complexion and a combination. So, therefore, for uh, you know any person to allege that we are only eating into the Congress's vote share is entirely un incorrect. What is the accurate assessment is that a lot of people who believe in Arvind Kejriwal's model of economic upliftment that gives you a life of basic dignity with electricity, access to quality health care, access to education, so on and so forth, are voting for the Amani party. As far as your larger question on the performance of Congress is concerned, let me tell you that the Congress, quite frankly, has essentially withdrawn from the Gujarat election, barring four or five seats where Congress is in a contest merely because they have a strong leader that has been practicing electoral politics, has been doing grassroots politics for decades. There is no other area in Gujarat, no other district or no other pocket in Gujarat where Congress is quite frankly actually even in a contest and therefore it essentially brings us down to a proposition that perhaps Congress today has turned into an NGO. It has withdrawn from the business of fighting elections. Okay. It only does social work from time to time and carries out long pediatras. Well, we, we'll but the it Congress, is no more in the business we'll of fighting elections. We'll ask the Congress about that because, I mean, you're right, there is some criticism of the fact that the Bharat Jodo Yatra is being pitched not to win elections, and that's a separate story. But on the Aam Aadmi Party itself, Raghav Chadha, uh, many of those who you know, are reporting from Gujarat also believe that maybe the AAP is, you know, sort of, uh, over uh, ambitious at this point that uh, there's a clear favorite in Gujarat. It's very hard to beat Mr. Modi on his own home turf. So in a sense, is it now the fight for who comes second? Would you agree with that? Two, is, is that is just a fight for the so runners-up position? 2002 election in Gujarat, 2007 election, 2012 and 2017 election. These elections may have been fought on the Modi factor. But the 2022 Gujarat election is being fought on the Kejriwal factor. And take it from me that AAP is going to trump the BJP in the upcoming polls. In these polls, the ones, the phase one as well as the phase two. Number two, there is, as I've said, if it was so convenient for the BJP and if it is the BJP's home turf and BJP is all set to win and they're, uh, you know, absolutely not perturbed with what the AAP is, uh, the kind of ground that AAP is gaining in the state of Gujarat, why would the Prime Minister require to sweat it out for five to six hours and carry out a long 50 so kilometer yeah, road? In every election. state. He does that well, in every state. Well, he, campaigns he, in every he is the face of the well, BJP. But no, Raghav, no, let me ask you this. 
if that's, you just look that's at, not, he doesn't do he doesn't carry out 50 km long road shows he he did on, a massive on, on, road on show days. i remember on the eve of the last up election as well in 2017 also i remember there were three days of massive road shows by the prime minister there and everyone well, thought massive, oh that must be because maybe, the bjp is on the back foot actually they did phenomenally well and they they're calling well, this the largest raghav they're saying that three and a half hours it's still going on apparently they pitched it as being the largest i mean that that's an well, election ploy well 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 vishnu if the bjp is so scared of the aam aadmi party in the state of gujarat that they refuse to show up on panel discussions where there is an aap representative in any channel whether it's a national channel or gujarat channel they attack only the aam aadmi party they take down hoardings of only the aam aadmi party they abuse only arvind kejriwal they physically assault only our leaders they have quite frankly I got into an understanding with the congress but they attack only the aap because they see aap not just as a long term threat but also as a potential short term immediate threat in the state of gujarat and i say this because in a very small span of 8 months i mean if you were to rewind back to march that is when we started our campaign in gujarat in a short span of 8 months we have built a huge momentum we have put up a spirited campaign we have built a robust organization down to every village which can today compete and perhaps right. trap the bjp's but, own organization but but raghav last question just on that point about your campaign yes it's been very robust and and uh, i mean at, at least it's there the congress's campaign is not even there on the ground but uh, you know one of your weaknesses has been that uh, you didn't you all didn't do very well in the panchayat elections so uh, there's a sense that you're not that strong in rural gujarat uh you did make a, a, a you know a dent in in places like surat for example in the urban local body polls which is why you've campaigned so aggressively in surat etc have you been able in your view to bridge that gap first of all every election has a different flavor and every election is different let's come back to delhi in delhi the lok sabha goes to the bjp the vidhan sabha overwhelmingly goes to mr kejriwal and the aam aadmi party with the highest ever mandate that independent india has ever seen so every election is different number 2 this is also a very puerile and a, and an incorrect way of looking at things that aap is only a shahri party or a or a party that is which which has support only in cities and not in rural take it from me that this time aap's performance in tribal areas aap's performance in hardcore rural areas is going to be far better than aap's own performance in cities i am not saying cities is going to be no, bad so in any way line, Raghav, but to wrap relatively this up, yeah. are you going to win this be honest or are you going to be a strong second he's going to say they'll win aam aadmi party is winning this election are you sure? and i'm saying this at, uh, we are winning this election we are we are trumping the bjp the graph vishnu of the bjp since march bjp was at 48% the graph of the bjp has been coming down that like this aap was at 0% in march our graph has been going up like this this is the trend and we have surpassed the bjp in vote share this Shall election you? is an overwhelming uh, uh, you know uh, 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 an okay, election so we'll where there is an overwhelming sense of where you win these elections or even if you don't either way raghav we'll so we'll replay this bite for you and we yeah be careful and what and you wish you for you may be proven to be correct as well so let's see what happens nidhi all right this election vishnu i can tell you is going to change india's political landscape for sure and aam aadmi party in my view in our surveys and that's the sense that i've got on the ground not just as somebody who's the co in charge sure. of the party in the state but as a student of political science sure. we sure. are winning this hands down all right just well, recorded no. that we've recorded all of that keep thanks, it please Arno. record it thanks very much